Hi, I'm Gia Nicolaides. Here's your morning brief on the coronavirus. The total number of confirmed cases now stands at 6,783. This is a sharp surge in the number of cases, an increase of 447 from Saturday. Eight more fatalities have also been recorded, bringing the death toll to 131. It's day 39 of the national lockdown and day four under level four regulations. While level four came into effect on Friday, it was a public holiday. So many more people will be returning to work from today. It's estimated that around 40% of the labor force will return to work. Employers have to adhere to strict guidelines to protect workers. Mines will start operating at 50% under level four. However, mining union AMCU won a court case against the government that will now force authorities to impose strict guidelines on mining companies to protect workers against COVID-19. The court ruled on Friday that a standard operating procedure is made binding on all mines, and this must be completed by the 18th of May. Road-based public transport services, including taxis, can operate from 5 a.m. until 7 p.m., with a grace period until 8 p.m. to complete trips. The loading capacity for taxis is still limited to just 10 passengers. Commuter rail operations will resume gradually, and the Gao train will also be gradually reintroduced, covering eight of their nine stations. However, there will be no airport service and 50% standard coach occupancy. Long distance road transport, buses and taxis will be allowed between the 1st and the 7th of May, the time during which people stuck in one province and wanting to return home or to work in another are allowed to move. Delivery services like Uber Eats and Mr. Delivery can operate between 9 a.m. and 7 p.m., but only for the delivery of food. British American Tobacco South Africa has threatened legal action against government over its decision to ban the sale of cigarettes under level four lockdown. The tobacco manufacturer wants clarity on the decision-making process that led to government announcing an indefinite ban on the sale of tobacco products a week after President Cyril Ramaphosa announced that cigarettes would be on sale. However, Minister in the Presidency, Jackson Mtembu, says that government will not back down on its decision. Globally, the number of cases have surpassed 3.5 million this morning, with the death toll nearing the 250,000 mark. In the US, around half the country's state governors partially reopened their economies over the weekend, while others, including New York, declared the decision premature. US President Donald Trump says he's confident that a vaccine will be developed by the end of the year. However, many health experts have cautioned that a vaccine is likely a year to 18 months away. In Britain, Prime Minister Boris Johnson said the country was over the peak, but it's still too early to relax their lockdown measures. And Italians will be free to stroll and visit relatives for the first time in nine weeks. Four million people will return to construction sites and factories as the country tries to get back to work. However, the use of public transport is being discouraged. For this and more on the pandemic, go to ewn.co.za forward slash coronavirus.